In this video, I'm gonna use my Omron M6 Comfort blood pressure monitor to calibrate my Samsung Watch Ultra. Do three measurement, calibrate it, and then guys, I'm gonna compare the blood pressure monitor from the Watch Ultra to the Omron M6. Now it's in the morning, I already had to coffee, so it's not gonna be the ideal results. Ideally, you should do this when you're relaxed and uh, it's very important to get the first measurement right off the beginning with the Omron. But guys, how does that work? So first you need to download the Samsung Health. Samsung Health Insight has two options. One option is the blood pressure, the other option is the ECG. There's gonna be the same icon here. If I click on the blood pressure, I'm gonna get this message. Follow the instructions in the Samsung Health Monitor to calibrate the watch. So you need to open the app here. For the watch to measure your blood pressure, you first must calibrate it with a cuff-based blood pressure monitor. So this is the blood pressure monitor. I have here also the cuff that I'm going to attach to my arm. So now guys, I'm gonna hit calibrate watch you will need a valid blood pressure monitor. This is the first requirement. You need to follow the instructions. So as I told you, you are about to make three measurements and you'll need to weigh your watch during this time so it can be calibrated. Okay, so now I'm gonna press next. To ensure more accurate measurements, calibrate with an upper arm curve based blood pressure monitor. This is it. This is this thing that I'm going to attach to my arm. So this is really the best results possible. Now I'm gonna press next. Do not change your medication or dosage based on what uh, you see. This is very important guys, like whatever you do with this, just if you want to change something, always please always go and consult a doctor physician, right? Avoid exercise, bathing, caffeine, alcohol and nicotine for 30 minutes. Now this is something that I not did, but anyway, I'm just doing this video to show you how you can calibrate your Galaxy Watch Ultra, right? If you have, of course, this blood pressure monitor, do not use it if you're pregnant and there are other medical conditions uh, that are described here. So now I'm gonna press the get started Wear your watch snugly away from the wrist bone. So as you can see, I have it there, right? It's away from my wrist bone. It's very snug. You will get the same orientation here. The wrist orientation is set to left. Wear your watch snugly away from the wrist bone. So we're pretty much gonna get the same results here. Also relax your hands and arms. Now, again, I need to warn you, I'm not in the best comfortable position here on my review table, but nevertheless, fit the blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm opposite on your watch. And this is very important, guys. So I'm wearing the Galaxy Watch Ultra on my left hand, which means that I need to attach the cuff on my right hand. Let me attach it. All right, the cuff has been attached, so I will now link it to my blood pressure monitor. So I'm gonna put my hand like this, guys, then press next. Okay, start your blood pressure monitor right now. So the moment I start it, guys, you're gonna see the Galaxy Watch will also start. Your watch will start measuring automatically. We have another five seconds. One six eight, one oh eight. I know this is very, 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 very high. But again, I had two coffees in the morning. So now, what is important? Enter the readings from the blood pressure on the monitor on the phone. So I will enter it right now. As you can see, that I have one six eight, one six eight for the systolic and one zero eight for the diastolic. So I'm gonna press done, confirm. Now we need to complete two more measurements. Let's do this. All right, I'm done. I now need to enter these readings again. It's very high. Too much coffee in the morning, guys, and I'm not really in the best position to do this measurement. I'm just doing this video to show you how this works. Let's do one final measurement right now, and the watch will start in 10 seconds. All right, and now we're done. 142102 with 86 pulls. So I will now enter these numbers 142 for the systolic and 102 for the diastolic, it's very important when you take those measurements not to move or speak at all. So I'm press gonna confirm now. And now guys, the calibration is finished. So now I can take a blood pressure measurement on the watch. I wear the watch on the same wrist as worn during the calibration. So guys, now as I have done this, I wanna show you right off the bat, I'm gonna do a measurement with the watch and then I'm gonna do a measurement with the blood pressure monitor and we're gonna confirm if we're gonna get the same readings. Okay, so let's press okay here. All right, now hit measure. All right, you're gonna get this message and after the calibration, do this. All right, the watch is reporting 153 to 101 with 86 BPM, this is the pulse. And now guys, I'm gonna repeat the same, but with the blood pressure monitor. 
So the Omron M6 Comfort Blood Monitor reported 149, 94, and 83. And the watch, guys, remember, the watch did 153, which is actually not so far away, 101, a bit more far away on the diastolic, and the BPM was, I think, circa the same. So you will not get really like the same results all the time. But right now, again, I had two coffees in the morning, so this was probably not the best time to calibrate it. Still, I guess, for just an indication purpose, the watch is really, really getting close, all right? So the Delta is not so big, and I was using this also on my 5 Pro. Sometimes I was even able to get like almost 99% the same result. Remember, if you're measuring your blood pressure, don't eat, don't drink, don't have coffee like I did, sit on the table, like relax your body for 20 minutes, and then just then do this. And not like I did for the video, but you get the idea. I wanted to show you how you can use this thing to calibrate your watch and how to use this function. And what I like about the Samsung Health Monitor is that all the results are gonna store here, so you can put a note like, all right, I got two coffees, or, or let's say I did some sport, whatsoever, so that you know what was the occasion for you taking this. You can press here the three dots and also recalibrate it. Have in mind that if you don't use it for quite some time the calibration will expire and the Samsung Health monitor will ask you to recalibrate again so thank you guys for watching i really hope that this is helpful for you stay safe vst over and bye